Kinda of scale guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video it is January 29th which means that we did get the draw quest which is basically what we're going to be doing the review on today and it's going to be obviously the newest exotic of the last word. Now when I say new I mean in Destiny 2. Of course this was a fan favourite back in D1, a lot of people loved it. Got nerfed a bit but it was still really strong at one stage. The last word, it's a really fun gun, it's a cool weapon, a lot of lore behind it with Torn obviously and stuff and Malfeasance is getting added to it as well. So there's lots of lore, there's lots of stuff about the last word. To get it basically you just get the quest from the Drifter, there's a lot of quest steps. I can go through them if you want, well like you can just really looked them up. Best way to do uh, the probably the hardest part anyway is PvP kills. But we're not here about the quest steps. We're here saying we have the last word. The last mission super fun too. But we have the last word itself, the hand cannon. It's exotic. So without further ado, let me go in and show you the perks. The last word. Yours until the last flame dies, and all words have been spoken. Shin Mal 4 to you as your journey forth into the unknown. So this is the last word, this is what it looks like. It always had this really cool aesthetics with the text marking and stuff. There is an ornament, I haven't got it. I think it just makes it kind of bluish. But this is how it always looked in D1-2. It looks a bit more rugged, but text marking up make a sweet ass gun. But for the intrinsic, you're gonna have fan fire. This weapon can be fired quickly and continuously, faster reload and increased accuracy on successive hip fire damage. So sort of like it was back in D1, except now it's if you get the damage from hip fire, it gets more accurate and stuff. That's pretty different. Then for the barrel, you got corkscrew rifling, balanced barrel slightly increases range and stability slightly increases handling speed. Then for the magazine, we have accurized rounds. This weapon can fire longer distances, increases range. And for the trait, we have hip fire grip, ergonomic grips that increase accuracy and stability when firing from the hip. And last but not least, we got textured grip. The friction on the weapon's grip is particularly strong, increases handling speed, slightly decreases stability. So you can see sort of what this is all about. It's about hip fire, like fan fire, basically full auto from the hip. It gives you a lot of stuff for hip fire stuff, obviously the fast reload increase accuracy on successive hip fire damage and also on ergonomic grip, the hip fire grip. And it also gives you another textured grip. So it's all about grips and stuff. I haven't tried this out in Destiny 2 yet. I literally just got it because the quest does take a bit of time, but I'm super excited to test it out. It has 225 RPM a minute. <laughs> That's pretty damn quick for a hand cannon. <laughs> oh my god. I look at its impact. It's not like it's a low impact. This is pretty high impact for 225 rounds per minute. Let me tell you. But without further ado, let's go into Crucible and test the last word out. Okay, so we're going to be on Meltdown. And what's the game? Oh, it's Control. Oh god, but hey, there's the last word in my hand. There's actually two other people using it as well. I got it pretty quick, but I think everyone kind of grinded it out as soon as they could. But this is what the last word looks like. That's one there. There's two actually. And if you shoot with it... That is the full auto, 225 RPM hand cannon, and I'm pretty sure it will do some mean damage, well it better do some mean damage or else I grind him booty off for nothing. Should be guy here though, he's gonna get wrecked, oh, headshot, oh the hip fire is, oh my god, okay the double hip fire shots going in, that is two people, two people, two people, two people, throw nice, do everything, throw, throw everything at them, kitchen sink, where are you, we'll throw that at them too, okay yeah. Not the greatest at range either. Okay, that guy's- Oh, he's, oh, he's a shotgun, he's a shotgun. We actually got him though. I'm considering I was weak as well. Uh, he only had to punch me once. So uh, yeah, you can see it's probably best up close. The close quarters maps, it's gonna be amazing. Only problem is there's a lot of like open areas in certain maps where it just doesn't do well. Well, I'm gonna assume it won't do well, but we can- oh, Just two of them weak there. Insta reload because we're a hunter. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh my god, look at that headshot. <laughs> That's what I said. You don't even have to, you don't have to aim with it or you don't have to hip fire. You can do the hip fire if you want. Of course, you'll get the, all the bonus perks and stuff for accuracy, but you don't have to. It's not like it's a requirement, which is good because honestly, I kind of suck sometimes at aiming, but look, look at that. Oh my god. Oh, I need to reload. I need to reload. Guys, can you all just ignore me? Thank you. Actually, you did ignore me. There's the kill there. Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. Just hide. Guys, it's working. The plan is working. I don't know what's going on, but it's working. He's up there, isn't he? He's up there. Uh, buddy, can you just come down? Oh, he's okay. He's under the map. Don't worry, Torchy. Torchy, me and you, bro. Me and you, bro. Torchy, Torchy, Torchy. You come with me? Torchy. Oh, he's there. Really? That's how you're going to play this game? You're going to play this game by hiding in corners like that, bro? Really? Oh, oh, someone's weak underneath the thing, though. Oh, oh, no. What What sort of spawn is that, Bungie? Thank God I got away. My God. Yeah. The territory where this is going to probably reign supreme is going to be shotgunish territory, too. I mean, oh, come on. We can knock that guy. <laughs> As I said, I do like to aim with it. I know you're probably going to be like, hip fire, man. Hip fire. I mean, I can hip fire. 
But it doesn't really work out for me all the time. And I mean, that's a range shot. I'm not gonna win that one. Don't worry though, we're gonna get these guys. Boom, boom, get off my swamp! And I that died with... So now I don't get the energy back. Gosh dang it. But hey, we're actually getting kills. And you can see, it is really strong in certain situations. Um, the thing is, like, I'm not gonna be... If I go for this guy... If I, well, if I could hit him, it's gonna do like next to no damage, realistically, because it's just not built for range whatsoever. But when you get up into close quarters like this, you can absolutely shred them so quickly. And we are on a hunter too, because we need those insta reloads. But like, you can absolutely shred with this thing, and this guy's not gonna know what hit him. You can take your time with it as well. You don't have to uh, spray it as quick as you can. And, okay, maybe I do need to spray it a bit quicker than that. But you don't have to spray it as fast as you can when you're using it. It will go in by itself. Come on, we get these two. No, I won't. I got shut don't down pretty quick. Captain. But as I was saying, eight, eight in the magazine, it does hamper the effect of trying to get like double kills and stuff. But like, look at that triple kill. Oh my god. Triple headshot and he's just freaking down and out. He had no chance right there. Oh, uh, that's what I'm saying. If you get accurate with this thing, it is ridiculous. Oh, we are destroying right now. There was a golden gun going in right now somewhere. Uh, oh, there's a super too. Uh, guys, retreat. Retreat. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. I mean it. Guys, get, get back. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Okay, tactical retreat. Still tactical re Oh, we didn't even retreat enough. This isn't the only thing that's came in, though, on the 29th. There has been a lot of crucible changes, a lot of sandbox changes in terms of auto rifles, supers, Pretty much nearly everything in Super has got changed a bit, like, in terms of nerf or buff. So, um, yeah, there is a lot more than this, but, like, obviously, this is the coolest part of it. It's a new exotic. Not new in terms of, uh, like, original, but it is a cool weapon, and I can't hit any of those shots. They're going for B, though. Come on, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Oh, Ace from behind. Hey, though, we hit fire this dude because we can not hit fire him because we can't aim for our life. Um, is the guy still there? Come on, we'll get this guy now. Aim, aim, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably like the only guy who ever uses last word and actually aims at the thing. I mean, oh, go, oh, oh. no, no. Oh, are you seriously going to get away? I got him out of a rift. I got him out of a freaking rift and he has a fighting line. Is he using two grenade launchers or the gun is actually really good though. It actually, it outputs some crazy damage quickly and stuff like look at that guy shredded in a bit. I mean, he wasn't using ace momentum as well, but like it is, it isn't the easiest gun and he actually killed me from a random grenade. Why is this happening? But it isn't the easiest gun to use. It's actually pretty difficult, but I do love it. Like, look at this. How how cool is that? Swing, and you have it out. Uh, only Tex Machina could do something like that, but he's run. Just run. I don't know why you are all going in after a stupid sentinel shield. Unless you can suppress him. But yeah, it's not the easiest gun to use, especially hip firing. Hip firing is not easy. I mean, you probably think, oh, it's hip firing, accuracy. You get all sorts of stuff. It's not very easy. I mean, it's pretty hard. Gonna be someone here though. Uh, get the headshot. Get the headshot. Get the headshot. Get the headshot. But, 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 but. I apologize for that aim. That was pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> uh, I knew I, I knew I had him, so I was like, ah, oh, just mess around a bit. Well, we'll just slide into their DMs though and hip fire like a madman. Bump, 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 bump. <gasps> okay, we did trade. We did miss a shot though. That's what I'm saying. It's it's very strong in terms of its TTK. I mean, if you hit those three shots at the start. It is perfect. It is bon appetit stuff. But if you don't, if you, well, obviously, if you miss shots, it's obviously going to be bad. <laughs> but this is very easy to miss shots with. It's not very accurate. You could, obviously, you could just say it's me that's crap at the game, which is probably true. I'm not great with that. Uh, even in D1, I was not amazing with this gun. But in terms of ability, it is uh, like second seconds. to none in terms of how easy it actually is to kill some people. He's so weak. And then sometimes when you hit those body shots. Oh, come on. We got this guy. Come on. We were out playing. We jumped the Nova and everything. And he's still alive somehow. Oh, thank God you got him eventually. Oh, there's like 15 seconds left though. Come on. We'll get dome him. Oh, they keep getting away every time I dome them and stuff. Okay. 10 seconds. Oh, he's daybreak. Uh, yeah, you are all screwed. Oh, oh, you got a double kill. But you can see it actually is really good. I don't think it's going to be broken. I don't think it's going to be more used than Ace of Spades. I think Ace of Spades is just generally better. But we got 26 kills overall. Not the highest amount to score, but nobody really did, except for that Cherubs guy. 26 kills, though. 1.86 efficiency. Not the best, but hey, 
it's the best I could do. Alrighty, time for the PvE side of the review, of course, with his gambit and stuff. I know you're probably thinking, what last word is a PvP weapon? It sort of is, yeah, well, maybe, yeah, it really is. But, <laughs> it's going to be able to be used outside of uh, PvP, and of course, it's going to be used in PvE if you want to, anyway. But we can dump some kids, and there's some shots. I should probably be hip fighting. This is where you probably practice how to hip fire. As, uh, as I said, like, in PvP, it was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it was super strong at certain stuff or certain parts when you're actually like um, just no scope and you've got like a triple headshot. But I am just, it's, it's so unforgiving when you're not unaccurate with the thing. I mean, it will reward the skilled hands, don't get me wrong. Someone with skilled hands will actually do better with it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's taking all the damage there, but there we go. Someone with skilled hands will probably do better than I was, but uh, yeah, I still think Ace of Spades is probably a better hand cannon. Just an overall consistency and for range and stuff. And obviously, Ace gets the Momenti Moris, which is just so good for extra range and stuff. The last word is good for fun, and like, it's, well, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, what's it against, like against yellow bars though? If, if you can turn his face around, there we go. You know what, not too bad, 77 damage. But when it comes to uh, PvP, as I said, uh, Ace of Spades will be more of a general, like it's more consistent, if you get me. Of course, it's all, up to, like, of course, if you have a really good aim, this is gonna just be the best gun ever, because this TTK is so good, and we actually can kill him quick. But it's a lot of fun, and as I said, it's so cool. I mean, it's a beautiful weapon. I'm sitting here using it, and I'm like, you know what? This ain't bad. We are actually able to do some mean damage when we get the headshots going too. As I said, though, I should probably be hip firing. Like, look at that. You can hip fire him, and probably hip fire that thing. Reload super quick. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Look at that. The magazine size though will be the one thing uh, that kind of is low on it. I can't remember what the mag size on D1 was. It's not good at taking on more than one guardian either. Unless you are super duper accurate, it's not amazing at doing it. Which, I, well, no gun really is good at taking on team shots. But uh, you have to basically reload this, at least with like a pulse. You can kill someone, dip out, and dip back in without reloading. It's, it's, it's not a good gun when there's more than one person. It's really good, and that's probably why it's built. I mean, it is a dueling weapon. You'll know that when you do the quest for it. It's all about how it's uh, good at dueling people and stuff like that. In it just general, like in terms of how much bullets it gets. <laughs> It's pretty unforgiving if you miss a couple of times, let me tell you, I died so much times trying to refrag or re-kill people after like spraying about five bullets into the, f into the air or into the ground and stuff. They got a primeval though, if someone wants to go over and invade, oh, do you want me to do it? I mean, I don't mind, yeah, I'm gonna do it because they're gonna start melting that thing real quick. Uh, of course, I could go in with the last word, but uh, probably better off going in with this sort of weapon and stuff because we can just shoot him from range. And heavy always is gonna be strong in the gambit invading. So I'm probably better off going in with this, but we'll get this guy too. Okay, he's AFK. I think he just took the hits. And there we go. Oh, he took me out with Hammerhead. Nice trade, buddy. Nice trade. There was a couple of days in the Osiris stuff where people used to use last word, longbow synthesis, and um, basically uh, any other heavy and stuff. Galahorn or whatever you wanted. Not Galahorn, of course, because these are both exotics. Whatever, whatever, like, heavy you kind of wanted. So that was literally the setup. Longbow synthesis. It was usually Hunter's longbow synthesis. <laughs> and last word, and something else. It was such an annoying combo. That was meta, though. And it was beautiful at stages when you're a Hunter. But if you were any other class, it was disgusting. Oh, no, 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 no. Where? Oh, my God. I'm not going to make it in time. Oh, come on. There he is there. There he is there. Come on. Come on. Melt him. Uh, why can't I hit that guy up there? What the hell? Okay, we're gonna have to go for this dude here. Okay, you know, screw this. <laughs> okay, we got one. I killed myself, I think, with my blade barrage. I should have saved that, actually, because we need melt. <gasps> we can do it. We can do it. Guys, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, we can do it. You are so close on this side. What? How did you die? How did you die, buddy? Oh, no, get rid of the stupid thing that's healing him. Oh, we can do it. Come on. Come on, shotgun to victory. No. Oh. oh. Ah, uh, if I killed more invasion, if I got more kills in that evasion, we could have won it. Okay, round two. Um, can we get a pullback? We should have won that round. I'm pretty annoyed at that. It's probably my fault, to be honest. <laughs> pretty bad invasions. But in terms of PvE with the last word, it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty fun. You can kind of see it here and just like spray people down and stuff. <laughs> get the fan fire going and then spray again. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. I, I wonder what the stack is, though. Um, can I get up to eight stacks? Um, I'm going to try my best. There's three, four. Uh, yeah, I think four four stacks is the max. So that is that's literally that four stack. That's the max reload I can get with it. Which uh, 
it's fast enough, but even without the fanfire, even if you just reload normally, it's actually pretty good in terms of reloading. And of course, it is so much easier to hit people in PvE, it's not hard at all, so uh, that's good for me because I suck with this in PvP, as you've seen. But I know a lot of people are already saying, like, it's good and stuff, but even if you look at stuff like your Luna's Hell and stuff, they're three taps as well, well, as long as you're active, that's a triple tap. And his TTK is just incredible, and oh my, I have 15 modes, he's gonna go for my ass. He's going for my ass. Oh, he's gonna fly up to me. No, 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 no. Bad boy, get away. You get away, get away. Uh, uh, where is he? Is he still here, boys? Oh, thank God, Sheikin, you got him. Oh my God, there's a stupid ogre here, though. Here we go, though. Fanfire, 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 and then we reload real quick. And we fanfire, fanfire, fanfire. <laughs> There we go. Here we go, though. Bum bum. Oh, they. Oh, scone bay, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna actually do it because we get rid of all those modes. We will be in the driving seat in the next like 20 seconds. Get this guy real quick, though. Oh my God, really? Re there we go. Finally, actually killed him. Uh, Lapton is here. He probably has a shotgun, though. There we go. There's nine. That is what I meant. If we actually killed him before they planted all those modes, I could say basically it was a lot of hassle in the next thing. Uh, oh, this guy has seven modes. Oh, I have three seconds though. Three, two, oh my god, I didn't even know he was still in the game. Use whatever you got and whatever we have. Pick up the heavies. <laughs> Rapid fire heavy right there, just constantly looking at myself. We're gonna play around his ass actually. I don't know if we have a, uh, what's it called, a titan strike or whatever. Uh, no, oh my god, guys, that guy was up the whole time. Really? Oh, no, 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 no. He's up there, he's up there, I can get him, I can get him. I can get him, I can get him, I can get him. There we go. Okay, guys, we have this. And guys, do Nunius have heavy or something? Oh, there we go, finally. I was gonna say, do Nunius have heavy or special? Like, just use it. <laughs> what are you saving it for? It disappears at the end of a round. Okay, time for round two. Uh, we're gonna, or round three, actually, because we did lose the first one. And we're gonna go in with the last word again. Honestly, it actually is a ton of fun. I'm really liking the PvE, because I can actually hit stuff PvE. Uh, it, well, in terms of PvP and stuff, you don't actually have to use this as well. As I said, the meta back in D1 was a sniper with this. So you could use this in conjunction with the sniper and just get them weak with the sniper or get them weak with this and then just finish them off with whatever, whichever weapon you switch to. That was the really sweet combo. That was why it was such a good combo because you could literally switch and I actually died. I don't know how. I, I don't know where they got that V-Doc though. The guy was like walking around like destroying supers, destroying everybody. It is not that strong. It's good and stuff, and it's a ton of fun, but it's not going to be, uh... I don't think it's going to overtake meta, unless it's for those pros who actually have an aim, unlike me. But for the common, like, user, or for the common player, or the average player, I don't think it's going to be, like, your meta weapon. It'll be fun and stuff, and you'll, you'll think sometimes that it's really OP or when you get killed by it and stuff. But in terms of using it, you'll notice sometimes that it's just not as great as you'd think it is. Okay, guys, primeval time, primeval. I have, like, no super energy. That was probably a bad super idea. Uh, where is this guy? There we go. Come on, melt this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I should probably use this thing because it's better at destroying this guy. Come on. Oh, my God, I am so weak. Melt this thing, though, as well. Come on, come on. Let's get rid of it. I, we, I hope we win this because I have struggled so much in trying to get the win on this one. And we are so weak. Okay, the prime is down. Okay, both of them are down, boys. Both of them are down. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's a super of some sort, but we get him. Other guy's there, too. Okay, he went flying across the map. Of course he would when I try to shoot him. There's two. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's probably so annoyed. Oh, I would be very annoyed. And we got a lot of super energy as well, literally just for uh, killing a bunch of them. But we get this guy, too. Oh, we disappeared. He used the Yotan on us. What the? Uh, okay, he, uh, he was shooting at me, but oh my god, ours is fully healed too. Uh, I wonder who has more primeval slaying, but oh my god, that's actually not bad damage whatsoever. What's that? It's at five? That's not bad at all. We can just keep spraying this, and uh, can you revive him? Come on. Oh my god. Uh, come on, shoot. Oh, someone's gone in with his chaos reach though. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, the chaos reach. No. Do I have a play barrage? Do it. No, I don't. Oh, we have a shotgun though. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 God. How did we pull that out of our ass? What did we do overall though? 99 hostiles defeated, 80 most deposited. That was mainly the last word, by the way. <laughs> it's actually pretty damn good PvE. It takes out mobs so quickly. And we killed 15 guardians as well. That was actually a pretty successful match. Well, that's it from me and the last word. Honestly, it's a really good hand cannon if you can aim with it. I mean, it's very... Well, well, they say inconsistent because the aim is really up to you. It's not really the gun's fault. 
So he could say I was just bad, but I just think if you want something like, well, I mean, for the average Joe player, like the average player or just a normal player, it's going to be very hard to be consistent with this. It's going to do damage, of course. Sometimes you're going to melt people and be like, what the hell? This thing is OP. But in general, I think, uh, or in general, or for like consistency basis, I think like Ace of Spades and stuff are just like better. Of course, they can go long range too. This is kind of a close range weapon. If you pair this with a sniper, maybe it'll be good. Like, go back to that old meta I was talking about. And it is also really nice in terms of its TTK. When you full fire, obviously, it's really good. But you can also kind of, like, tap the trigger a bit just to be a bit more accurate. I think it's better that way. But overall, I would suggest you get it. It's a lot of fun. And if you're any way accurate or if you're good at the game, <laughs> it will go in for you. But if you already have, like, a Luna's Hell or um, Ace of Spades and stuff, those guns are probably just as good. I mean, Luna's is ridiculous. It's, well, not forgotten too, but I just say Luna's in general. Luna's is a ridiculous weapon when you get a treetop. And I'm pretty sure it's TTK would be able to combat this too. And it's legendary too. So, like, if... <laughs> It's not the biggest deal if you don't use this exotic. I think it'll be used a lot in Crucible for the next like, few weeks, of course, because it's new. But in general, I don't think you'll see this as a meta weapon. I think it's good. It's not like it was in D1 where it was just running rampant. I think it's accuracy. Maybe on console with aim assist and stuff would be better. But I think it's accuracy. You're hitting a lot of body shots this. I think uh, it's a 1v1 sort of weapon. But as I said, that's not the only thing that came out today. Um, loads of different changes like weapons, uh, auto rifles, sort of PvP stuff supers and everything got nerfed and all that sort of jazz and of course they did release or not release but they did say that torn will be coming back eventually because every hero needs a villain and the torn is obviously the villain of the last word but regardless if you liked the video throw us a like and if you want to see more content subscribe have a fantastic day and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one